Hi again, Vita volunteers. In our last lesson, we started talking about income, and we covered a wide variety of different types of income, both earned and unearned. And some of those types included things like wages, interest, and dividends. This lesson is continuing that discussion, but we will be focusing on unemployment benefits. Unlike our last lesson, though, this lesson is pretty short. Now, it's 2022 and we're really moving further away from some of the more unusual and temporary tax legislation that was put in place in response to COVID. But I want to make sure that we have a good response for clients in case they are thinking that unemployment compensation is not taxable. In 2019 and prior years, unemployment ta was always taxable. In 2020, however, the American Rescue Plan temporarily made up to $10,200 excludable from income. But in 2021, the unemployment benefits became taxable again, and that is continuing on in 2022, and we'll expect it to just keep going in years forward. Some of our clients may feel that it's unfair to be taxed when they have lost their employment, and of course we can empathize with that. Um, but of, our job is to ultimately help the taxpayer comply with the tax law. So the important things to remember about unemployment income are that it's taxable. It is also considered unearned income. And remember, we talked a little bit in our last lesson about the difference between earned income and unearned income and how earned income can qualify taxpayers for certain kinds of credits, uh, specifically the earned income tax credit. So unemployment would not be able to be used toward the earned income tax credit. Unemployment compensation is reported on Form 1099-G. And Form 1099-G can be used to report a number of different government type payments, including the state and local refund. Um, but also you might note that uh, 1099-G comes in a variety of formats. Uh, state and local refund tends to come uh, on what looks like a postcard. And uh, sometimes uh, unemployment benefits come on what looks sort of like a letter, but you'll find somewhere on the form that it says that it's a Form 1099-G. But this is a standard version of what it could look like. And you'll see in box one, there is unemployment compensation. So that's where you would see the unemployment compensation. And then it's important to note that uh, people can opt to withhold federal income tax from their unemployment compensation. They don't have to have uh, income tax withheld, but they can opt to. So always be looking for box four in case that was uh, something that they did so that they get credit on their return for payments they've already made. And here's how unemployment compensation flows onto the Form 1040 return. So if you remember, the 1040 has three additional schedules that provide more detail. And Schedule 1 provides more detail about income and adjustments to income. So we take our uh, Box 1 of Form 1099-G, and that flows on to Schedule 1, Line 7. And from there, uh, that it's gets totaled on Schedule 1, and then it uh, flows into Line 8, Other Income, from Schedule 1. Um, and that's where it'll be on page 1 of the 1040. And then any withholdings are reported on page 2 of the 1040. Um, you can see Line 25B is for uh, Forms 1099. And so it's possible that uh, somebody might have withholdings from several types of 1099s, um, and they will be consolidated together and reported there.